Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Please help me welcome our president and CEO, Randa Coniglio. Good morning. What a great day this is for the Port of San Diego. If this platform were a little more sturdy, I might do a jump for joy. Um, thank you for being here with us to celebrate the award of a $10 million grant awarded to the Port of San Diego by the Department of Transportation. It's known as the Tiger Grant. Funds in this program are awarded on a competitive basis for projects that have a significant impact on the nation, a metropolitan area, or a region. This funding is going to help the Port of San Diego move forward with a vital project here at the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. You'll hear about the project in more detail in a few minutes. And the project will help modernize this terminal and take us into the future, allowing the port to process much more cargo with much greater efficiency, ultimately resulting in more jobs and a greater economic impact to the region. We have some very special guests here that I'd like to recognize before we go on. First, I'd like to recognize the United States Maritime Administration's Deputy Administrator, Mr. Mike Rodriguez. I'd also like to welcome um, Congresswoman Susan Davis. Thank you so much for being here. Congressman, Congresswoman Davis repre represents California's 53rd Congressional District. I'd also like to recognize the Chairman of our Board of Port Commissioners, Dan Malcolm. You'll hear more from him in a little bit. You'll also be hearing from Gary Gallegos, Chief Executive Officer of the San Diego Association of Governments. Gary's over here. In addition to being a very important regional partner for the Port of San Diego, Gary also serves as the Chairman of the U.S. Department of Transportation's Marine Transportation System National Advisory Committee. That committee promotes a on a national level the spirit of collaboration on infrastructure projects, uh, which we appreciate here daily. Before we hear from our three speakers, I'd like to thank our VIP guests in the audience, Commissioner Bob Nelson, and Bill Kratz, District Director for Senator Dianne Feinstein's office. Bill? Caridad Sanchez, Director, San Diego and Imperial County's Office of Senator Barbara Boxer. And Janine Bryan, District Director, Congress, Congressman Juan Vargas. Hi, Janine. And Lisa Schmidt, Deputy Chief of Staff, Council Member David Alvarez's office. Commander Eric Cooper, Deputy Sector Commander, United States Coast Guard. Jessica Poole, Congresswoman Susan Davis's office. Jessica. And Lee Stewart, Congresswoman Susan Davis's office. Oh, Commissioner, and Commissioner Marshall Merrifield, I, where are you? <laughs> uh, I'd also like to read a statement from Congressman Scott Peters, who was unable to be here in person. We, we did this on short, very short notice. Uh, Congressman Peters served as a port commissioner from 2009 through 2012. He asked us to read this on his behalf. This is a quote. These upgrades have been important to the port since I was myself a port commissioner. The investment made possible in part by this grant funding will improve the efficiency of the port's operations and help increase work opportunities in both the short and the long term, benefiting our region's economy. Funding for necessary infrastructure upgrades is scarce, and the Port Commission and its dedicated staff deserve an immense amount of credit for their hard work throughout this competitive bidding process. I look forward to seeing firsthand the construction and completion of this needed project at 10th Avenue. So our thanks go to Congressman Peters, and sorry he couldn't be here. I also have a statement to read from the City of San Diego Mayor, Kevin Faulkner. He also had a previous commitment. This grant award is no small feat for San Diego. Not only will it help create jobs for our local economy, but will, it will also help it grow as well. As San Diego continues to lead the world in innovative new companies, products, and ideas, we must continue to modernize our infrastructure and ports to meet these achievements. 
On behalf of the City of San Diego, I'd like to congratulate the Port of San Diego for working to secure the most competitive transportation grant in the country and working to secure our place as a world-class city. That was very nice. Our thanks go to the mayor. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to help celebrate with us. And now it's my honor to introduce our first speaker, Mike Rodriguez. Mike was sworn in as Deputy Maritime Administrator on October 20th, 2014. He came to MARAD most recently from active duty with the National Maritime Intelligence Integration Office. He brings more than 35 years of public and private maritime industry experience to MARAD. Mike? Well, good morning, everyone. It's been so far a very pleasant morning seeing all the smiles and the wonderful sunshine here in San Diego. It's just, uh, it's just a terrific day to, to be here with you all and, and celebrate your, your accomplishment. So yes, I am Mike Rodriguez and I am the Deputy Maritime Administrator. And it's my privilege to serve in that capacity and to represent the Obama Administration and the U.S. Department of Transportation here today. It's great to be in the Port of San Diego, and I want to thank, and I hope I don't leave anybody out, but I, I want to thank Dan Malcolm, uh, Randa Coniglio, thank you very much for your welcome, uh, Commissioner Marshall Merrifield, uh, Bob Nelson, some, some among the people I've met today so far, uh, Congresswoman Davis, thank you for, for being here with us, and Gary Gallego, thank you for your work on the, on the MITSNAC committee. The history of our nation is a story of opportunity. Right from the start, people came here for opportunities they didn't have in other places. The opportunity to practice their religion, to the opportunity to begin a family, to raise a family, the opportunity to learn a trade, get an education, land a job, or launch a business. In 1962, the Port of San Diego began creating those kinds of opportunities, creating jobs for the Golden State, creating e economic opportunities for American businesses and for American workers. And going forward, our nation is relying on ports like this one to keep sparking those opportunities that drive our economy and sustain our quality of life. But our nation has some big challenges coming around the corner. And everybody sitting in front of me now knows what they are. In the next 30 years, our nation is going to have 70 million more people, 70 million more people competing for our transportation capacity 70 million more people requiring their goods to be moved through our freight system, and our infrastructure is not going to expand automatically to accommodate all that need. The infrastructure and capacities we need are not going to magically appear when we want them to. That's why with this seventh round of TIGER, the department reached out to transportation leaders nationwide, leaders like you all here. We asked them to tell us about the transportation projects that are critical to the future of their communities and we ask for their solutions to the challenges we all know will be coming in the next 25 to 30 years. And one of the best plans that we received, one of the best, best plans that came to us was from you right here in San Diego. You wrote to us with a plan to remove two obsolete transit sheds, install high mass lights, upgrade on dock rail components and more. I am proud to say that we're providing you with a $10 million transportation investment generating economic recovery or TIGER grant that will help make this project a reality. That's right, that's right. That's the line I wanted you all to get, right? Out of all this, that's the one I wanted you, I wanted you to take away. And you are not going to Im just improve infrastructure, you're going to help the port to meet the changing operational demands of your commercial customers and alleviate the rising pressures on our nation's supply and logistics change. So just let me say this, we at the, de at the Department of Transportation and, and in the administration are excited and proud of the work you're doing here at the Port of San Diego. In fact, we are excited about every one of the 39 projects we funded covering ventures in 34 states, altogether in Tiger 44 maritime projects in 24 states. But this is still just a drop in the bucket compared to the need that is out there. This year we received an overwhelming number of TIGER applications requesting a little bit more than $10 billion in TIGER funds. Unfortunately, we were only able to award less than 5% of that total of the total amount requested. 
And the truth is, these are high impact, innovative projects that we need. These are the projects that will support our economy, the, the efforts that will connect Americans with opportunity and ensure that every citizen is in a position to prosper in the 21st century. But until the federal government is able to provide sufficient resources to support all of these deserving projects, I know that projects like this one and people like you will deliver and will be a stronger nation for it. So thank you all very much for your very kind welcome this morning. And again, congratulations on your award. Now to um, hear about how this award is going to really result in some great economic impact for the San Diego region, I'd like you to welcome our Chairman of the Board of Port Commissioners, Dan Malcolm. Thank you, Randa, and um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I cannot say thank you enough, Mike. Um, thank you to the Department of Transportation to Murad, this is a big, big deal and a big day for the Port of San Diego. Um, and there are so many people to thank here and I don't wanna forget any of them, but I wanna start again, Department of Transportation, the federal government, Murad, thank you for recognizing the importance of cargo and maritime uh, around the United States and specifically here in San Diego. Mike, thank you so much for that. Um, thank you to Chip Janikin and thank you for all the people in Murad that, that made this possible and allowed us, uh, actually granted us this grant. Um, I want to thank our local partners. I want to start Susan Davis. Thank you very much for being here today. And I want to thank our entire congressional delegation, Duncan Hunter, Scott Peters, the former chairman of the Port of San Diego, up in Washington now fighting for ports, fighting for maritime. Um, this is where investment really creates a return. And, and I am so thankful that that's being recognized at the federal government. Susan, thank you very much for being here today. I want to thank our local partners, Gary, Gary Gallego, Sandag. Thank you for being a partner on this. Thank you to NASCO for helping us with our application and, and helping us get it in. Thank you to the Coast Guard, the city of San Diego, Kevin Faulkner, the, the, uh, the council members. There are so many people. This is such a collaborative effort to get a, a grant like this, that there are just too many partners for me to thank, but everyone that, that contributed, thank you. And most importantly, thank you to our own staff at the Port of San Diego for keeping going our fourth try. I, I, I will tell you all, you made a believer out of me, and I'll tell you here in the audience, I started euphemistically calling the Tiger Grant the Unicorn Grant. It, and the reason I did that is because it seemed like it was more of a mythical creature than a real creature. So um, I will tell you today that the Port of San Diego, there was a unicorn that flew over the port building. It, it's a reality. We're getting this grant. And, you know, I had looked at $500 million of grants versus $10 billion in, 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 in grant applications. When I was at the Department of Transportation a couple months ago in Washington, D.C., I was talking to the, the, the director, Chip Janikin, and I said, you know, Chip, you have a better chance of getting into Harvard University than you do of getting a Tiger Grant based upon that, that ratio. Well, I will tell you all today, the Port of San Diego is going Ivy League. We have got our Tiger Grant. Now, in terms of impact to this region, it is enormous. And when I was talking to the deputy director, Mike Rodriguez, upstairs, and I was telling him, look, this is the definition of, of uh, shovel ready. We have been working on this project for years. We have one of the top maritime architects in the United States, Vickerman and Associates, that has helped us to come up with this plan to really modernize this facility. This is going to result in real change in, in the maritime business in San Diego. It's going to result in 295 jobs to, to construct it, 290 permanent jobs here on, on the terminal. And, you know, we talk a lot about jobs and the economic impact in the region. Those are jobs, unlike San Diego, average jobs of $46,000. Those jobs are $72,000 average wage. That is a real living wage. A family can really live on that wage. And, you know, I'm excited that the Port of San Diego can bring that. 
But even more than the jobs, it's the economic impact on the region in all of the other jobs, the 13,000 vendors that service terminals like this that are out there in every community in San Diego, they all benefit from a grant like this where we can increase throughput on this terminal and throughput will be increased by about 500% at the end of the day. So it, it, is, it is really an impact for San Diego and I just wanna take a moment because we talk about the port and we talk about maritime Maritime impact in San Diego is $3.5 billion of impact every year on this region. That's a, that's a total impact of $7.6 billion of the Port of San Diego. So roughly half of our impact is in maritime. Every day, people working in the maritime industry, 22,000 workers every day are coming down here on this terminal, at NASCO, at BAE, all around the Tidelands to work in the maritime industry. Maritime, it, it, is, it is intertwined. We have to have strong maritime here in order to facilitate BAE and NASCO. We have, sh we have steel that's dropped off here that is used in ship repair. That ship repair services the Navy, the Pacific Fleet, over 50 home ported vessels here. It is all interrelated. So this is really important money that's gonna be plowed into here. Um, and, and I, again, I am just so thankful that the federal government um, saw, saw fit to give us the grant. And, and I will say, um, we are going to build a project with federal funds and our own private funds right here that we invest here in the Port of San Diego that is going to create real return on every dollar we spend on this terminal. So that, that's a big deal and it's big for San Diego. And again, I wanna thank everyone for coming here today. Thank you all for supporting us and getting this grant. It's a big day for San Diego. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Malcolm. And now please um, help me welcome to the podium Congresswoman Susan Davis. We're really honored to have her here today. Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful San Diego day. It could it be better? And I know that you did this sort of at, on the spur of the moment, and yet look what your planning did. You, <laughs> you brought a great, beautiful day. And, and it's, uh, it's so good to congratulate all the hard work that went into getting this grant. Because it's been years, it's been a lot of effort, and you all are making a great contribution to the city of San Diego and to our region the jobs, the infrastructure, the efficiency that's going to come out of this uh, means that you know, we're, we're one step even further to being America's finest city. Modernizing the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal is a big deal. And I'm so glad that all these pieces have come together. On behalf of all of my colleagues, and I know that sometimes people aren't sure that the delegations work together. Well, we do. And I particularly want to thank, of course, my colleague Scott Peters as the former chair uh, of the port. I know that he had such a, an important hand in, in pulling all of this together, organizing our efforts. And uh, it means a lot. I know that he would have loved to have been here today, but he's doing something that we would all agree is really important, being at Parents' Day for his son at Duke University. And uh, you know, it, it, I guess it wasn't much of a choice in the end, except that, of course, you pulled all this together at the last minute, and that was a long time in coming. And of course, to my colleague, Juan Vargas, as well. I uh, had a chance to represent the port at one time, and I miss it. But on the other hand, to join hands uh, with my colleagues means a great deal. And all of this has been said. Uh, Dan, thank you so much for everything. For Mike, Deputy Rodriguez, thank you so much as well for all of your words. There's nothing better than finally coming together and knowing that your hard work meant something. These Tiger Grants, with a match that you provide, make a real difference and not just in a port city like San Diego, but throughout our entire county and really throughout, throughout the country. Because the whole world in many ways benefits from the changes that are gonna be made here today. We love that. 
We love the fact that we can come together and do that. Thank you all so much for all of your hard work. I want to say is doesn't this make us feel that we need a comprehensive long-term transportation bill for our country and this is the way that we go about doing that through your hard work thank you You know, I failed to mention earlier another really important partner that we have here in the audience, a partner of the Port of San Diego, and that is the president of our Longshoremen's Union, Gerald Royce, is here with us. And speaking of partnerships, our final speaker is Mr. Gary Gallegos. He's CEO of Sandag. Sandag's been a valued partner of the ports and has supported this project and many others over the years. This collaboration is a true testament to interagency cooperation in the planning and funding of freight transportation and infrastructure projects. Um, as has been mentioned, Gary is chairman of the Marine Transportation System National Advisory Committee, also known as MITSNAC. And in addition, uh, he has a seat on the board of the Coalition for America's Gateways and Trade Corridors, and that allows our region and our projects to stay competitive. Gary? Well, thank you, Randa. Uh, good morning to everybody. And let me start by uh, a big congratulations to the Port of San Diego, uh, Chairman Malcolm. It's great that, you know, no longer a unicorn, it's real. Uh, but I want to, you know, borrow from a couple of things that Matt and others talked about to, I think, really highlight the significance of today's accomplishment. When you think about $10 billion in need nationally, you know, 95% of the people that asked got told no, and, and, and I believe working in transportation that there's probably, you know, most of those 95% of projects are probably pretty good projects around the country, but unfortunately there's not enough resource, and this is our opportunity to thank uh, federal DOT for investing in San Diego. Uh, I, I think that if we look at, and to a point that uh, Congresswoman Davis made, that the need for a comprehensive transportation plan is real. Uh, trade continues to be one of the economic drivers, not just locally here, but for our state and the nation as a whole. And whether it's our marine ports working or our land ports working, that they really are sort of engines that drive the economy. And we haven't invested enough on them, and we're seeing that here, the great opportunity to do something for the port. Uh, but, you know, Administrator, uh, we, we want you to keep coming back, but we want you to keep bringing more money back because I think today's $10 million is but a small piece of the big need that we have here regionally. And as uh, I have shared with many of the commissioners, and, and again, a, a, a congratulations to the, to the port as a whole, the commissioners, the staff, Randa, uh, Job, uh, Dora, uh, you know, you guys have done a great job in chasing this down, but we've got many more of these that we got to chase down if we're going to be successful. We're pleased that we are able to include these in our regional transportation plan. And as I've said many times before, one of our big challenges, I think, with trade is that everybody benefits from it, but it, it doesn't always vote, man. And as a guy that works at the state level and the national level, you know, making sure that trade and being able to move goods and the importance that that has, not only for our quality of every American's life, every San Diegan's life, but also the importance that it has for our national economy, I think sometimes gets lost, right? And I, I think the good news is uh, while they're working on, congratulations to the House for actually getting a transportation bill um, out of the House. I didn't think you guys were gonna be able to do that, Susan, but I'm excited about it. And I think the important part of the discussion that's happening nationally today is the trade and goods movement are on the table and there's a recognition that we got to invest more in our in our maritime and our land ports and our transportation system because what makes this country great is we can still beat anybody in the world in terms of getting a product from the west coast to the east coast there's no 
faster way to do it than the way we do it here in this country, and it's because our ports and our transportation system work together. So again, let me close by congratulating the port, uh, reminding our, our, our maritime friends that we hope to be back to you many, many more times because we really value this partnership and we need more of your dollars. Thank, Thank you. you. are happy up here. Thanks again to all of our speakers. Thank you so much, Mr. Rodriguez, um, for bringing us this award. And thank you all for sharing your day with us and coming to celebrate with us. That concludes our presentation. OK, it's an incredibly happy day for us here at the Port of San Diego. We're so grateful to the Department of Transportation and specifically the Maritime Administration for awarding us a $10 million grant. It's going to help take this marine terminal into the future by uh, allowing us the funding to demolish some really obsolete buildings and structures here on the terminal. And how, oh, let me ask you while we're on that, the structures, what, what's wrong with those structures? They were um, built I don't know, ages ago, decades ago, to house things that used to come through the terminal, like cotton. And um, today we move cargo that's bigger and doesn't need to be indoors. So we really need the flexibility of the outdoor space to, to maneuver and, and move that cargo around the terminal, off the ships and onto the roads or the, uh, or the railroad. This federal grant that the uh, port has been awarded means a great deal because it's renovation of a very important area, creates better efficiency, and basically it's, it's providing the port with the incentive to match federal dollars. And it's jobs, it's being able to move goods and uh, quicker and better, and that's really what we need here in San Diego. I think it works for the, our entire region uh, but it also works for the country. More grants like this are, are important investments. Maritime trade, just last question. Maritime trade, how important is that? It creates many, many jobs here in San Diego. And we know that it's important to move these goods. And without that, they really don't have the ability to do that in the best way possible. So they're going to be able to make some great changes here. And they've been working on this grant for a long time. There are many, many, many other ports that have applied and San Diego came to the top of that list and we're really proud of them for that. The, um, the transportation investment generating economic recovery grants are just that, they're, they're grants for infrastructure projects in all the modes, maritime, um, uh, transit, highways, rail, so uh, we, we're very pleased to be able to provide this kind of assistance for projects in all the modes. And in the case of San Diego, what do you have here? Here in San Diego, you have um, a, a need to upgrade the port. You have uh, a, a, a port here that generates opportunity for people, the trade that comes through the port. So this grant will help uh, modernize the port, help your economic competitiveness, because when we, when we look at these projects, we look at them uh, with a view toward five priorities. One is, do they enhance safety, economic competitiveness, state of good repair, um, uh, quality of life, and sustainability. So here in, in uh, the Port of San Diego, uh, your economic competitiveness will be enhanced by uh, being able to move about the, the port uh, more freely. Um, uh, there's, there's going to be uh, expansion of the, the uh, refrigerated cargo handling capacity at the port. So that's your economic competitive piece. Uh, in terms of sustainability, you'll be installing some cold ironing capability here uh, and some, some um, uh, efficient lighting, more efficient lighting uh, here on the facility. So we look at th those kinds of factors, and they're, they're very much a priority for us. How much, why is maritime a priority? Well, maritime is a priority because uh, it's, it's our link to the rest of the world. Um, I mean, very, very simply, that's... Uh, that's uh, I don't think I can say it any more succinctly than that. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a mode where we have some excess capacity in terms of uh, moving freight, um, but it's, uh, it's our link with the, with the rest of the world.
Sure. Well, this is a Tiger Grant. It's uh, from the U.S. Department of Transportation, and it's an extremely competitive grant. So I've got to say we are very, very happy after our fourth try to finally get this $10 million grant. Um, you know, 39 different ports applied for this, $500 million of grant money, and $10 billion in applications. So you can do the math, that's a very difficult grant to get, and as I joke all the time, I've got a better chance of sending my daughter to Harvard than I do getting this grant. So, but a lot of effort by a lot of people, we got it. That money, that $10, billion, $10 million is gonna be invested in the terminal. So the grant is 10 million, and then the Port of San Diego is gonna match that 10 million with our own money. The total project is about 21 to $22 million here in the, on the terminal. And what that's gonna do is, we're gonna be taking out some old and outdated buildings. We're going to be modernizing and adding to the infrastructure of the terminal. And really, at the end of the day, what that does is that allows us to have much more throughput come through the terminal. About 500% additional throughput of brake bulk goods through the terminal, and that's huge. What that does, the impact of that kind of throughput, that's jobs, 290 additional permanent jobs, that is economic impact on the region. And when we talk about economic impact, and I like to talk about this, the Port of San Diego has our maritime business alone, it's about $3.5 billion with a B of impact every year on San Diego. So when you look at this terminal, one of our two main cargo terminals on the bay, and the fact that we can have a 500% increase, that's a huge increase in economic impact. Yeah, what, what, what I want to add is that um, whenever we do something like this, we have to balance the environment and, and our maritime business, and the port is doing that. Right now we're engaged in an environmental impact report. Any impacts will be mitigated because as environmental stewards of the bay, that's something that is extremely important. It is part of our mission. But it is also part of our mission to enhance the maritime business, and if there's any thing that I can get out, any message that I can get out, it's, it's how important that maritime business is for the community, for our economy in San Diego. It's not just jobs here. The jobs here are important. It's also 13,000 vendors in every city of San Diego that supply goods and services to the Port of San Diego and the businesses we have here in our maritime business. That's a lot of additional induced jobs out there in the market. So. When you talk about maritime, you really talk about a very, a very complex tapestry of businesses in San Diego. And as the Port of San Diego, as the people in charge of maritime, it's our job to talk about maritime and to invest in the maritime for this region. It's extremely important. When we look forward into the future, what do you see here? What, 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 I, what I see in this terminal is I see a really modernized, vibrant terminal, a terminal to compete with any terminal in the United States for brake bulk goods. Now, San Diego is never gonna be that big container terminal. That's LA, that's our neighbor to the north, and that's their niche business. Our business is brake bulk goods, so steel, wood, commodities, windmill parts, um, um, big, heavy pieces of equipment. That's what we bring in here. And so what I see is I see a vibrant terminal where we really can increase our throughput of those kinds of goods. And when you think about it, it's critical, not just for all the industry in San Diego that use those goods, specifically for our last major shipyards on the West Coast that have to have that steel come through this terminal in order for them to do their mission of ship repair, which helps the U.S. Navy. The Port of San Diego is one of 17 strategic ports in the United States. The U.S. Navy is critical to our mission here. And in fact, we have the Naval Pacific Fleet, which is the largest fleet in the, in the U.S. Navy, over 50 home ported vessels here. We have to have those shipyards, and so we have to have those commodities coming through this port in order to facilitate those shipyards providing their service to the Navy.